grant you an ear that can hear him. <laughs> Ask the Lord, grant me an ear that can hear you. We are in the season of a transition. And the people that are going to be strategic are such people that have an ear to hear the Lord. There is no form of training, no form of learning that can equip you sufficiently for such a season as we are in. Only those among us that have an ear to hear the Lord will be able to survive. Grant me an ear to hear your spirit. In Jesus' mighty name we'll pray. Thank you for seeing us through the previous year and bringing us into this season. We connect with the grace that you have released to implement your plan, your program upon the face of the earth. Grant us this grace, Lord, that each and every one of us will have an ear to hear you. In Jesus' name. So you can tell your neighbor, Happy New Year. Amen. Uh, if you are one of those that turned over your life to Christ during the crusade um, that took place recently, you may wish to identify yourself by raise of hand. All right. You, I want to say you are most welcome to this place. Most welcome. I give you an apostolic welcome. This year God will do you good in the name of Jesus Christ. Psalms 127, just in case you came with your Bible. And those that uh, gave their life to Christ, I will see you. We'll pray for you, and then we'll also see you at the end of the service. Accept the Lord, build the house, the labor in vain that build it. Accept the Lord, keep the city, the watchman wicked, but in vain. There are two functionaries that are spoken about in this scripture. The builder and the watchman. There are two critical functionaries that are domiciled in territories. Whereas the duty of the builder is known by everybody. Uh, my concern is the role of a watchman. Mm. You see, in heaven, they are watchers. And that's why in earth, they must be watchers also. So during the, uh, this month of January, we'll be talking about the watchman because the Lord hinted me that this is the season of the watchman. Except the Lord keep the city, the watchman wicked but in vain. Can we move to the book of Ezekiel so that I can expand upon this subject that I intend to introduce? Ezekiel chapter 33. Listen to me. If God wants to move in your family, and there is no one keeping watch for the family. Uh, God can actually visit your family and your family members will not know. Just like God visited Israel. The Bible says he came to his own and his own received him not. All right? So it is possible for God to pass by and you're not even aware. It is possible for God to have an intention of grace. And because you are not aware, 
you lack what it takes to appropriate the mercies of God. The Bible speaks of a watchman, and I'd like to expound upon the function of that operative. Are you there in the book of Ezekiel, chapter 33? And for your information, Ezekiel chapter 33 was the scripture that was preached when I gave my life to Christ. Ezekiel chapter 33. Is anybody there? The book of Ezekiel chapter 33. And again, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, speak to the children of thy people, and say unto them, When I bring the sword upon the land, if the people of the land take a man of their coast and set him for their watchman. If he seeth the sword come upon the land and he blow the trumpet and warn the people, then whosoever heareth the sound of the trumpet and taketh not warning, if the sword come and take him away, his blood shall be upon his own head. These are very weighty matters. First and foremost, the watchman must be possessed with the ability to be able to discern the sword of the law. Right? And that's not an ability that is available to just any individual. He must be equipped with certain capacities that will give him the ability to discern the movement, the intentions of God. There are three things that a watchman watches over. Right? In terms of his watching, it is threefold. And in addition to his watching, he also has a commission from God to warn a people, particularly if danger is about to come. Part of what is lacking in the body of Christ in our time is the ministry of watchmen. Because we seem not to have anyone that warns us again of an impending danger. And when a watchman is excluded from the civilization of a city, the people are likely to become doomed because they will not have anyone to warn them. Hallelujah. And so there are a few factors that we are going to see about watchmen. And for the whole of January, we will be dealing with the issue of the watchman. Partly because the Lord says this is the season of the watchman. And my duty will be to transform you to become a watchman. Every watchman has jurisdiction. Has jurisdiction. Maybe the scope of your watches is your family. When you fulfill the obligation of a watchman, you will attract God to you. Because God will need to come and put you on notice that a certain danger is about to come. And that danger is not coming from the devil. The danger is coming from him. As a means of administering judgment. So God will have to befriend you if you are... If you are consistent in the watches, you will end up becoming a friend of God and God will begin to give you classified information as touching his intentions, his plans, his programs. And in the case where the program involves judgment, it will be your responsibility to sound an alarm of warning. If you are still with me, say amen. This critical persona, this critical personnel, it's needed in territories, needed in families, needed in government, needed in society. 
to afflict people with the perspective of God and to let people know that in spite of maybe the wealth they have acquired or the political power that they sit upon, there happens to be a governor among the nations that can make someone in political power of no effect whatsoever because he sits in a capacity that is superior to any throne that any mortal has. Now, I would like to show us another scripture and uh, I will stop for tonight and then tomorrow we will continue. But a land that has no watchman is a land that we should call, we should say woe unto because it will be prone to disaster. If there's no watchman in a family, we should say woe to that family because the devil is going to have <laughs> a, a field day, a free moment to take advantage of the inhabitants of that family. Now, come with me to the book of Matthew chapter 13. I just want to show you a few things. Maybe tomorrow I will show you the, the scope of the watchings of a watchman. The scope. When I have convinced you that we need a watchman, then I will now tell you the making of a watchman. That will take us throughout this month. What and what is required before you can become a watchman. We were doing a crusade in the city of Kano because of the fact that I was observing my compulsory service, which we call NYSC in the state of Kano. Uh, the security situation of that state at that time was very poor. And so my family members suggested that I stay with my uncle who was a member of the police force so that at least they'll be sure of my safety. So when we, I started staying on, on the barracks and then gave myself to prayer for a season and the Lord spoke to me clearly. He said, set up a crusade platform in this vicinity and I will begin to deliver these people. Now, I was just watching, watching, and I saw the population. I think that's the biggest police barrack in the entire Nigeria. The population is huge. I was watching and begging God for souls, asking God for intervention, for the Lord to stretch forth his hand over the terrain. And I think we did that prayer for like eight months before the Lord now responded. So we're doing the work of watchmen. One of those days we were in the prayer, and the Lord, I know you will not believe this, you, you say, we are, I'm crazy. So let me look for a way to tell you that it will not sound crazy. Now, we were in prayer, and the Lord said, oh, that tree there, that big tree there, uh, is a haven for witches. So we went there, and we say, oh, tree, that's where you say I'm not in order. Because you allowed your vessel to be an abode for witches, we curse you. Dry up. When I finished from Kano, got a job in Abuja, and I had to go preach in Kano again, I saw the same tree. It had withered from the root. It was a massive tree. It means that God will give a watchman authority to regulate his jurisdiction. So the Lord said we should set up a crusade platform and he will begin to deliver his people. It was not we that wanted to do a crusade. In our watches, he gave a directive. So my last allowance as a youth copper was the seed investment that was used to set up the crusade platform. When we set up the crusade platform, we're trying to put things in order, we're praying, we're mobilizing, and then the community of witches, and they, they had a vast community in that locality. They sent us a message. They said, we heard you are arranging for a crusade, and part of your intention is to dislodge our presence in the territory. 
and they gave us a notice that we are all coming for the crusade. Let us meet. <laughs> you see, I know it's easy for you to laugh. It's an object of laughter today. But it, was, it didn't make anybody laugh in, when the actual event was taking place. Oh, you have never been put on notice by witches. That's why it's, it's, <laughs> it's a matter of laughter. So they sent us a, a, a notice. And uh, the notice came to me directly. So this information was classified. So, and I had the authority to, to determine who we preach on the crusade ground. So I asked one of the brethren, go and preach on the first day. He is not aware of the fact that we were placed on notice that a visitation was going to take place. So I said, go and die. Go and preach. Now, <laughs> die there. And we're watching. And the witches didn't come that day. I asked another brother, you, go and preach. In fact, the witches went to visit one of our brothers in the office. The spirits of witchcraft possessed a madman. His office is upstairs. I know you will not believe me, but the Lord will help. His office was upstairs. This madman climbed the staircase. And when you go upstairs, there are many offices. So the spirit at work in the madman was not guessing. The guy walked straight to the office where my friend was, and he had broken some bottle and gotten one with a very good edge. And he went into my friend's office, who was part of the intercessors in our ranks, and he stabbed him and told him, so you are the one that I've refused, that is naughty. You are the naughty one. He stabbed him. That, my friend, was supposed to preach on the second day of the crusade, but because of that stab, he knew there was war, so he escaped for his life. Those were the days where people, when they sense danger, they take off. Those were such days. So my friend, who is a prophet, is the one that would have discerned who is, was a witch, and they went to meet him in the office. He ran away. So we appointed somebody else to preach the second night, and the witches didn't come. I said, okay, maybe they're afraid. And I put on white suit to preach the third night, and that was the day that they came. May the Lord give you understanding. <laughs> While I ministered, I believe I, I, the, the message was powerful, and I gave an altar call, and about 500 and something people came to the altar. 200 of them were witches, and they were not coming to give their life to Christ. They were coming to achieve proximity to the preacher. And I was on the pulpit, and instead of leading them to the traditional way we lead people to Christ, we get them to speak to Jesus and make commitments to Jesus, and then Jesus now releases mercy upon their lives. That was not what happened that night. The moment they gathered like that, instead of me to lead them to Christ, I say, fire. And I, I, I can't tell you where that utterance came from. But I said, fire. 200 people began to manifest. We left the people that wanted to give their life to Christ, we left them and began to attend to the people that were manifesting. We started attending to them by 8 o'clock. By 12 midnight, we were still in active service by 12 midnight. After four hours of brutal engagement, It was easy for us to handle because in our watches, the intelligence had come that there was going to be what? A visitation. You are no match if there is no watchman that is bearing the burden of your context, of your jurisdiction. Part of the personnel that need to be in a place to ensure that the plans of God prosper among the people. Is a watchman. Are you still with me? Tomorrow we'll go into more details. I'm just trying to introduce the subject. Maybe I may need to do Matthew chapter 20, 13, verse 24 to 30. Matthew chapter 13, verse 24 to 30. Um, do you, please, can you give me the scriptures on the screen? 
if it is possible. And another parable put he forth unto them, saying, The kingdom of heaven is likened unto a man which soweth good seed in his field. And while men slept, his enemy came and sowed tears among the wheat and went away. Now, hold on. This is an illustration of what is obtainable in the kingdom. The Bible says, it's like a good man that soweth his seed. And then, an unfortunate situation now takes place. He say, while men slept. You see, the enemy can only come and also do his own cultivation, do his own planting when the watchmen are asleep. So, there are several, several people in territories that Satan needs to put to sleep in order for him to plant some things in the territory. As long as those functionaries are well awake, Satan will not prosper in planting his intention in the land. If you see kidnapping, you see headsmen, you see Boko Haram, Invading us. In 1996, there was nothing like Boko Haram. But there were several people that Satan put to sleep that made it possible for him to plant Boko Haram in our territory. The texture, the, the um, publicity about our nation changed utterly the moment that the seed of insecurity was planted successfully in the land. Even our police headquarters was challenged. And today, if you go around in cities like George, cities like Abuja, and even in our own city, it's easy to tell a police station because you're going to find barriers and barricades around the entry points. Because once upon a time, something that was not was successfully planted in the territory and it has changed the way we live, but not forever. And the reason was because men slept. The question tonight is, how many things have the devil successfully planted in your family just because men slept? So many terrible things happen when the watchman that is assigned to watch over a certain jurisdiction is caught of God. Satan enters and leaves, plants and is expecting a harvest in the very territory that is assigned to your watch. Nigeria is a case study of the broken walls of the watchers. And the Lord is saying in this new season, he gives us again the opportunity to erect the broken walls of the watches so that it can bring in a new civilization among our people. The lands and the territories that have been conceded to the enemy, if watchmen arise, hallelujah, we can redeem those lands. Now, listen to me. First question. When Boko Haram and insecurity was about to invade our territory, did you know? You didn't know. Meanwhile, part of the compliments of the operation of the watchman is that he enjoys a certain intimacy with God that puts God on notice to bring to his knowledge things that are about to encroach into the space of his jurisdiction. Are you there? You are not there. Let me still continue my story about the crusade. The crusade in Cana. We fixed the stage. We built it. And we went to pay for the equipment. And the people that were the owners of the equipment said, when we use for the first night, we'll bring it to them. 
and then we'll go and pick it the second night. I said, no, it doesn't work that way. We'll keep it. So then I said, <laughs> do you undertake that the equipment is going to be in the same shape, the same Do you understand what I'm talking about? So, why not? So, that was the agreement. We took the equipment. We used it the first night. We kept it in a house close to our crusade ground. And this was what happened. As we kept the equipment and left, somewhere two hours after we kept the equipment, I lost my peace. Has it happened to you before? And I began to pray because I could not put my finger upon what was wrong. But when you lose your, because those are the senses that God gives to a watchman. For a watchman, loss of peace means something big. For a normal man, loss of peace means a bad feeling. So I lost my peace. And when I lost my peace, I began to pray. I began to pray. Then the peace, the loss of peace now reduced, but it was still there. And in my work with God, I know the meaning of that. That a danger is about to come. The danger will manifest because the peace is, loss of peace is still there. The danger will actually manifest, but because we pray, the impact of the danger will be reduced to the barest minimum. You don't know what I'm describing if you have not kept the watches. Because part of what God owes you is intelligence, spiritual intelligence, that will make you effective in prosecuting your assignment as a watchman. I prayed because I knew when I saw that the loss of peace was sustained, I knew that what I was praying about, the danger was going to happen. So I labored to reduce the intensity. If you have ever been to a police barrack, the way they build their houses is universal. If you have seen the one in Mopo barrack, that's how it is in Lagos. That's how it is in Kano. It is one block of many, many, many flats. You, you understand what I'm talking about? Okay. So when we kept, we kept the um, equipment in the sixth flat from the left wing. The first flat in the left wing, someone was studying using candle. And the candle flipped because the person slept. And he, used, he enjoyed the sleep so much, he used the leg to topple the candle and then an inferno, a quiet inferno. The thing burnt the carpet, got in contact with um, the cutting, went into the, the ceiling, and the sleeping man was, in fact, the fragrance deepened his slumber. <laughs> Hallelujah. You see, terrible things happen when people, even physical sleep, that's the moment where the marauders in the night feel is most conducive to come break into your storehouse and to cut away with your goods. This inferno traveled from the first flat in the roof. It traveled to the second flat in the roof. It traveled to the third flat in the roof. It traveled to the fourth flat in the roof. It traveled to the fifth flat in the roof before they realized there was a burning. And they mobilized themselves and began to pour water. And the inferno was raging. Do you realize that it was just before the sixth flat where the equipment that we undertook that we will protect was kept? Just before the sixth flat that the fire was put out. But you see, before all of that took place, there was an intelligence that came from the spirit of God. You cannot do your duty as a watchman apart from the help of the Holy Spirit as he gives you strategic spiritual impressions to give you an understanding of an intention that Satan had. Satan hated that crusade so much that he had to find a situation to put us in trouble. But because the Lord had leaked it and we were not casual, about the intelligence that came. We prosecuted it in the place of prayer. And even though the event took place, what the devil had in mind 
did not take place. Are you with me? Or I say, are you with me? Somebody was traveling to Abuja using one of our transport services and they had a ghastly motor accident. The car some assaulted. He came out of the vehicle. He bought some bread and the bread he bought, four, four loaves of bread was compressed. And he called to say, my bread is compressed. That was his own, the reason for his sadness. Now, so I now asked him, are you, do you think what the devil planned was to compress your bread? You know why the sentence was reduced? It was because he came from a colony of watchers and a lot of spiritual investment had been made even before that trip. They didn't know why they were praying the way they prayed. And it had doused the temper of the affliction that Satan wanted to bring to the young. He came out and was sad for his bread. <laughs> Meanwhile, in the same vehicle, we had people that broke their score. Their journey to Abuja ended in Nasarawa, in the hospital. They had to stitch, patch the score. Some permanent marks were inflicted on, on people in the vehicle. He came out without a scratch and was tra his travail, his body, was the status of his breath. If Satan has an intention and you, and you pick it and you mix it with prayer, the outcome will not be consistent with Satan's expectation. A watchman, oh, he can prolong your life. A watchman, he can extend your days. A watchman, oh, his activities can cripple people that have said you, 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 you over their dead body, you would never. Oh, if a watchman supports you, if a man comes like that, he is humbled quickly. I would like you to understand that because God has said, I want to do this, doesn't necessarily mean it will happen in your life. I'll show you a few scriptures so that you understand. Any day you come to church, like today, and maybe a prophecy goes, and you know it's you God is speaking about. A regime of warfare has already started on your life. Because Satan also heard it. It was at the riverside of John the Baptist's baptism that Jesus was declared, Son of God, this is my beloved Son, in whom I were pleased. The next agenda after that public acknowledgement public accreditation was a moment with the devil in the wilderness. And the first thing that the devil came to contend with what was his status as a son of God. We, we, we hear you are using a title now. <laughs> Every prophecy that goes forth about your life because of your life becomes an object of warfare. Satan will contend with it. And when Paul was speaking to his son Timothy, he told him that uh, the prophecies that were spoken over him uh, were, were utensils with which he was supposed to war a good warfare. A good warfare. The reason why it's a good warfare, because the prophetic utterances are already guided missiles. Missiles that will guide you. It's, it's a disclosure of spiritual knowledge. So you know what you are fighting for. Many times in watching and in intercession, the Holy Spirit will make an impression and your understanding is unfruitful. But yet we still pray because prayer is an activity of the heart. We still pray. That's why we have the classified prayer language called speaking in tongues. Your understanding doesn't need to be fruitful in order for you to prosecute that much. But if the prophecies have already revealed the objects, it means you even know what you are praying about and what you are trying to facilitate. It may it be easier for you. It's easier for you. It's easier for you. I will show you critical aspects of your life. Things that put you on notice in the kingdom of darkness. You might be celebrating. You might be rejoicing. But... You are already a suspect, a candidate for satanic attack just because those things happened in your life. Oh, you got a promotion in the office. 
It's only a fool that will now call the city and say, let's celebrate. I got a promotion. I am elevated. Are you the only one in that office? You're the only one there? Who? You have not studied your Bible. The Bible says he increased his people greatly and made them stronger than all their enemies. So every increase is an invitation for a spiritual, for contest, for battle. And so God will not only give you the grace to facilitate an increase in your life, he will also administer to you the needed strength for contention. Anything that suggests, that makes you preferred from others is an object of great envy. Watch us. There are secret agents of the cross deployed to families, to regions, to nations, deployed to watch and to labor to ensure that the plans of God are entrenched within the scope of their jurisdiction. It's, it's an aspect of the activity of the body of Christ that the church of our day does not know any longer. And in the place of prayer, he said, we should flag off a new age, the age of the watchmen. And then that in obedience to that policy of heaven, that's why I'm doing what I'm doing here. Verse number 25 of Matthew 13 says, but while men slept, his enemy came and sowed tears among the wheat. And what happened? And went his way. He came unchallenged. He left unchallenged because the watchman was asleep. The question is how many people have walked into your family and walked out? Haven't sown seeds of wickedness that will occasion a special kind of harvest? That is in the intent of the enemy. Next verse. Who is there on the console? Next verse. But when so the servants of the householder came and said unto him, Sir, this not thou so good seed in thy field, from whence then had come tests. And he said unto them, An enemy has done thee. The servant said unto him, Will, will thou then that we go and gather them up? But he said, Nay, lest while ye gather the, up the tares, ye root up also the wheat with them. I'm saying there are some plantings that if the devil succeeds in achieving, you cannot root them out immediately. That we need to grow side by side but what the, that means the devil's plan is succeeding side by side God's plan the devil's intention you have to be patient you will see Satan's plan mature and there's nothing you can do about it it was because that arrangement could have been solved if the enemy was caught on sight now we are compelled to live with the devil's plan. Are you a victim of a situation? You are living side by side with the seed that the devil has planted and, and you can't root it out. It's, it's, it's right there before you. But you cannot root it out in the present time. The reason is because once upon a time, the watchman in charge of your jurisdiction, he slept. The impact of a sleeping watchman can be transgenerational. Are you with me? I give you one prayer point as we try to round up. Tomorrow we'll continue and we'll begin to build the truth of the word of God. And the intention is to transform you to become a watchman. I will tell you everything about the art of keeping the watches. Oh my. 
and also the impartation you need to stand in your capacity as a watchman. You will receive during the course of this month. If you are still with me, say amen. amen. The Bible says, every tree that my heavenly father has not planted, it must be what? Rooted up. That's the prayer point. There is a planting of the enemy. There is a planting of the enemy that needs to be rooted out of your family. We are making demands on heaven this night. There is a planting of the enemy that needs to be rooted out of Nigeria. We are making demands on heaven this night. There is a planting of the kingdom of darkness that must be challenged tonight. We are making demands on heaven. Hallelujah. So you may be upstanding as we prosecute this prayer. Every tree, Jesus said, that my heavenly father has not planted must be rooted out. I'd like us to raise our voices. Have you spotted a tree? Have you spotted? Have you spotted a circumstance? Have you spotted an activity that is illegal? Is so bold. Ah, the devil planted something. But the destiny of everything that our Heavenly Father has not planted is that it must be rooted out. Can we make demands on heaven right now? Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Those trees must be rooted out. They must be rooted out. They must be rooted out. They must be rooted out. Every tree that our Father has not endorsed, it must be taken away. It must be taken away. It must be removed. If God has not planted it, his destiny is that it must be rooted out. Rokesi mahala korea meskope lehese kute mahante kula mateli aprokosi kabe suka bakaya takaboko apresko felete ikose zali koprasi agai tondema leko salakuda bakata iklo proskezo zomo kompreska valunda amena ikoskezo salakunde bregedali amira tasi amira tasi kapentos kezo mi every tree that you have not planted it must be rooted out oh my god masose la makabranta babome Yeko seli kombre Maya kuse presko falama tala Prenka masuda Alendo kombre Kesko tamena kila bondasi Oh we give you praise In the name of Jesus I see someone in the congregation And in the night People bring food for you They come to feed you In the night and the case is um, a troublesome case. You go to sleep and uh, people come to feed you in the night. Feed you in the night. Well, if you are the one I'm talking about, you may wish to come forward. I want to pray for you because the, the mandate of the Lord is that every tree that our Heavenly Father has not planted must be rooted out. I'm waiting for you. You, you, you get fed. People come. To, some people come to feed you in the night. To feed you. Now, um, don't forget yourself. Okay. We need two feedbacks at least. Take a feedback from this lady and the tall woman. Let's let's understand her experience. All right. Yes. Tell us your experience. And generally, each time I'm just trying to make any spiritual progress, yeah. I will just 
find myself eating in the dream. In fact, then three days ago, I was telling my family that I had a dream that somebody gave me meat to eat, and I ate meat in my dream. Um, each time, too, I like I receive a prophetic word, or I begin my I begin to pray. They come to feed me in the dream, like day before yesterday. Somebody they gave me akara to eat. You see, every tree that has not been planted by our heavenly Father, what's the destiny of that tree? It must be rooted out. Now, so we're going to do something. Oh, my God! My God! My God! I'm seeing a creature like a monkey. This one is a thief. That's how the spiritual thief looks like. It looks like a monkey. And it is dealing with someone's finances. Last year, you attempted business three times. And the three times, you crashed. I'm seeing the spirit that is responsible for what is taking place in your financial life. So if you are here, you are the one I'm talking about. You attempted business three times last year, and it crashed because this thief was at work. OK? Now let's know her experience. Sister, what happened to you? Like last year, mm -hmm. when I start business, I dreamed that mama gave me money. I want to go and buy something. So one girl come, instead of her, to, she say we should share the money. Before I carry the money, that girl carry the money. I, before I turn back, I talk finish, I didn't see the girl again. When I wake up, I say, ah, is it a dream? When I go market to buy something, all the market that I buy, if I sell it, I will not see the money again. The money. Okay. Uh, yes, the lady with... Uh... For my own experience, it. Um, I tried selling oranges in bags. Why I loaded the oranges to take to the market, as in go to farm market, and then there the woman sold the oranges, never returned with money. How many and times did it happen to you? The, the person I'm talking to, you attempted something three times in 2021. Three times. First one was the oranges. It went, they never, the money never the came money back. The money never came back. And that is how she disappeared. Second one is, and I said, okay, since the orange did not work, let me sell yams in hundreds. <laughs> I sell in yams for me to sell. It's not the change of sell. business that is no. the solution. They, I say I'm seeing a monkey-like a monkey -like demon. And he's sent to destroy the work of your hands. But our joy is that the scripture says, every tree that my heavenly father has not planted, what will happen to it? Now, so we are going to do some rooting out today. Hallelujah. And in the next three months, these ones, we have a different story to tell. Yeah. Ah, my brother, what? Okay, find out from this. This, this is my brother. So I invested in two different businesses, and then they crashed. And then the other one, I bought a bike. I gave somebody to be bringing returns. And that is how it has been going the other way. So the reason why we normally extract the feedback is so that you will know that these are real life situations, real life. And we are not making it up, all right? It's a revelation that came from God, and I don't need to stress that, okay? Um, everyone that is here will have a miracle. Can you stretch forth your hand quickly? Let, let us do some uprooting right now. It, 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 it's a mandate. It's a, the, the trees that are not planted by our Heavenly Father. The destiny of such trees is that they must be rooted out. Can you pray for them? Pray for them. I cannot hear you. Cry on their behalf and ask God for mercy that the hand of God might rest upon them, that the Spirit of God it might rest upon them. Let this manipulation, manipulation be cut off. Let it be cut off. Let it be cut off. Let it be cut off in the name of Jesus. Let it be cut off in the name of Jesus. Yes, begin to pray for them. And call on the Lord's mercy. Oh, Kabolo si klapraske to mahai. 
Kabolo Shamina, Kuria, Braski, Tamonde, Leherete, Kosi, Kobresko, Falantos, Abama, Alemo, Sekilata, Broska, Meso, Combre, Mahabusha, Kalia, Ebramanta, Babori, Maseka, Teli, Ikosa, Ambrola, Escuba, Valaita, Kusketa, Menakila, Preso, Komote, Iacobiza, Salakunte, Bre, Mahaitos Amanda, Prata Kabedu Kusketa Minahaila, Iko Bretos Convela Mi, Abai Kompalwa, Shekila Montele, Rakos Keto Montali, Abame Soke Bahiko Braski, Aito Bede Kisko Podombre, Yakatula, Yakasabena, Rante Kaboto Kabase Sali, Rabakunda. Ikos keta manteli amai kampole na shika raka bonse seze e brokote makade mala raka skemi nanteli ieko samata la baboria ieto skombela ika mama yaka mama sei kompela na si Lord God Almighty let this be uprooted let it be uprooted. Let him be taken away. In the name of Jesus, we call upon you. Oh, send him on more. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. All right, the Lord will give us a sign if he has answered us or not. And what I requested was that the anointing should descend upon two people as a sign that he has answered us before I pray for you. Father, if indeed you have answered us and you have stepped in to transform the situation of your people, I ask that you show me a sign. Let your anointing rest, rest upon two of these people and rest so strong upon them. Let your anointing rest upon two of these ones and let your spirit rest so strong upon them let your anointing rest he's actually coming he's coming actually let it rest let it rest on two individuals standing before the pulpit let the anointing rest on two individuals standing before the pulpit yes it has rested on one it will rest on another one let it rest powerfully let it rest strong I ask, oh God, that you place your hands. Oh my God. What is coming is heavy. 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 Let it rest from the crown of the head to the soles of the feet. I ask, oh God, that you release the anointing. It's coming stronger. It's coming stronger. It's coming stronger. Holy Ghost. Thank you for the sign. Oh, oh, oh. The angel is still here. He's still here. Let the yoke break in the name of Jesus. Break in the name of Jesus. Break in the name of Jesus. It is written that every tree that our heavenly father has not planted its destiny is that it must be rooted out. And so tonight I root out this evil Tree, seed of wickedness, exploiting your destiny, feeding upon your goodwill. Today I uproot it in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. You are released. I guess this is the first prayer for the first fasting and prayer day. Okay, I want to bless you with so that God will give you the energy. To be able to cope. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, you know what I say? I see a flag. I see a flag. A flag. It's just, just flying. What, what that means is several people are going to testify of great victories coming from the Lord in 2022. I see a flag flying in the heavens. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. 
Can we give him thanks? There's something flying. It is flying. Mahantani. A mighty visitation will come on one of us. Oh, it is your flag I see flying. It is, it is a witness from the Lord about a new beginning. The Lord begins afresh with you on a new note. And he will cause your face to shine. Oh my God, it is your time. There has been a proclamation in the spirit. A proclamation about your release. You were kept in bondage. Your potentials were bound. But God is about to shoot you out. Heaven rejoices over you this moment. Heaven rejoices because the things that seem to be impossible, they will be possible in the season that we are in. Oh my God. 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 Oh. There's somebody in the congregation. The Lord is anointing you. You will feel his hand now. He's anointing you. He's anointing you. Yes, it's anointing you. Oh, oh, you will walk and not be weary. You will run and not faint. You will mount up with wings like the eagles. Grace will be given unto you. The Lord's hand upon your life is going to be so, so strong. He anoints you tonight. He anoints you. I see him in the spirit. I see him in the spirit. There is somebody receiving an anointing on his right hand. He or she, right hand, and it will burn. It will burn. It will burn. It's a deposit of the grace of God. The flag still flies. There is an announcement of your possibility. The announcement goes out in the spirit. God is making a proclamation that yoke of delay is broken. come strong upon that life strong upon that individual let it come strong so that we can cast out this demon of death let your hand come stronger stronger ushers if you find the person bring the person Abema usa na more kai la kobelami si mama more 
Samela Colome, Mesa y Cola Marande, Sicabola, Saila Cobre Naisoma. Oh, 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 oh. Can you stretch your hand in our direction? Because we're going to send death back to the sender. This year you will not suffer loss. The devil will not rejoice on your behalf. We come in the name of the Lord. Hey, 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 hey. I command your hand broken over this life in the name of Jesus. Now listen to me. One of you here will be anointed now. His hand will come upon you. His hand will come. He will come. He will come. He will come close to you. He will come close to you. He will come close to you. He's coming now. He's coming close. He's coming close. He pours himself upon you. Bring that lady. from the Lord I give you in the name of Jesus Tabo set me naila kale mosiko prela azala mahande uskaya to bina hale can we do one more prayer we want to send this debt back to where it was sent from I'm a law enforcement agent it is for this purpose I was raised so that injustice occasioned by manipulation occasioned by wickedness can be cut off and that <laughs> justice will be prosecuted can you pray we send this evil wind back to the place from when she came Ah, see him, mama, mama. 